everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Harris and today is going to be a little bit of a special video. It's going to be discussing and going over my Pokemon collection of four years. Uh, I've been playing since 2016 and I've been playing competitively for about three seasons now. So this is the stuff that I've accumulated since that time as of right now. And you know, I'm not much of a serious collector as like you know, all the other Pokemon YouTubers, but this is the stuff that I've, you know, taken the time to purchase on the side when I'm going to, like, regionals and stuff. And we're gonna be going over basically everything. Uh, I got some binders right over here, as well as some sealed product, and some PSA slabs, all that good stuff. So, hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and take the trip down memory lane. Before we get into it though, if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate you. Think about liking this video as well as hitting that red subscribe button down below. Really, really helps the channel out. And to those, once again, who keep coming on uh, every single video, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching all my content. I uh, really, really appreciate you guys. So, let's get right into it. All right, so here we are back at the table. I got a stack of binders over here. Uh, I do apologize in advance for the camera setup. It's kind of a little janky, but you know, I'm trying to make things work. Things will might be better in the future videos if I do stuff like this. If I look this way, it's just because I'm looking at my monitor, just making sure things are fine on my end. So, uh, yeah. So, I got a stack of binders right over here. I got some slabs with me. I got some sealed product on the side. So, um, let's just take a look, dive into all the binders first, and then we'll get into the rest of the stuff. So, this first binder right over here uh, is basically a modern set. Uh, base, uh, just disclaimer, like most of my stuff is modern, uh, since I do play, I do play competitively, so I don't really collect a lot of the vintage, like, Watsi era cards. Uh, all the stuff right here is modern, so. So right over here we have a Champion's Path Master Set in the works. Um, I've, uh, uh, like, I've opened a ton of Champion's Path, um, on my channel and on my streams, and I basically just said, you know what, you know, a Master Set is a good investment, I think. Uh, a Master Set is basically one of every card, you know, you got the normal and the reverse. And I've accumulated these through opening a lot of packs, and I just basically had these all these cards, you know. Champion's Path isn't that big of a set, it's only about, like, 73 cards, so... I basically had most of this stuff, and, um... There's still, there are a couple of cards that I am missing. I am missing a... Just a Hyper Guardi, as well as the Hyper Peers. I do have the shiny Charizard V, I have a couple extras, but those are grade worthy. Uh, I do need to pick up like a lightly played one um, uh, to fill up this binder. Uh, this Charizard V Max right over here, I did pull on stream, but sadly it wasn't grade worthy. There is like, there's like a white spot on the uh, on the top right, right over here. I wonder if the camera will be able to pick it up. Uh, it's like right over here. I think you can see that, but yeah, sadly this Charizard isn't going to be a grade worthy but hey you know what i got one for the master set at least so i also need to pick up one more fairy energy to complete this energy lot you know it's kind of weird that uh sorting with sword and shield pokemon removed fairy energy so or fairy pokemon in general so i i'm just surprised that they included a fairy hollow in this so that's kind of weird but uh yeah so that was my champion's path stuff this binder right over here <coughs> It's going to be filled with mostly, like, EXs, GXs, basically a lot of stuff that I've played with uh, over the years, you know. I've been to numerous regionals, playing decks, and most of the cards that I've played doing decks are going to be in this binder, so... It's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty cool to see all my old stuff, so... First page right over here, my camera is kind of, like, taken away from... from this, so I'm going to shrink my camera a little bit. But, uh, yeah. First page right over here, we got some EXs as well as some A specs. Uh, you know, you got like Hoopa EX. I play, remember playing this in like Mega Guardi, Mega Rayquaza decks. Uh, Mewtwo EX X Ball was always insane. Um, this is a 10 promo. I don't have like the one from, what's it called? I don't have like the normal one from Dark Explorers. I've actually acquired a full art one that you'll see later in the video. But uh, yeah, Genesec DX, Volcanion. The Mew EX was a, was a big one when, uh, you know, the format was Buzzwool, Lycanroc. Buzzwool Lycan Rock, Zorak, GX decks, you know, you had the Mew to counter the Buzzwools, and um, that, was, that was a fun format, I, I like that format a lot. And right over here we have Aspex, uh, for all your expanded needs, you know, Computer Search, I've played Computer Search in many, many decks. Uh, I've played Dowsing Machine a couple of times in the uh, expanded Zorark. Uh, Scramble Switch is probably my favorite one, I think this one's kind of the kookiest out of the Aspex, you know. You can have one of these Aspex in your deck, and they do like an awesome effect, uh, in game, so I like Scramble Switch a lot. You can switch your Pokemon and move any number of energies to it. It's it was super fun. I, I like I like Scramble Switch a lot. 
And then over here we got more of the full arts. So I actually love full arts. Like I actually play full art Pokemon in basically all my decks. Uh, if I can't get one, then obviously I'll play regular art. But uh, at this page we got most of my full art stuff. You know, you got Eggs Slashes, uh, Jolteon EX. I played Jolteon EX a couple of times. <clears throat> Regirock in the Buzzwall decks. Uh, Malamari X is pretty cool with that awesome uh, Happier Hypnosis attack. Miraculous Shine Espeon. Mega Rayquaza. I did sell most of my Mega Rayquaza cards and I'm kind of hitting myself over the head. Because <clears throat> uh, those cards have gone up and I kind of wanted to get those back just because, uh, you know, I t like the first cup that I played with, my first League Cup, was with Mega Rayquaza. And uh, it was pretty unforgettable. I did top four that one and that was a lot of fun. Uh, we got Mega Guardies, Despair Ray Guardies. Uh, this is like my favorite deck ever that I've ever played in, in a um, in a tournament. Even though this deck, among like us, like among the TCG crowds, it wasn't that good. But I had a lot of fun with Despair Ray. You know, discarding Pokemon on my bench and everything like that, and getting them back with Dragonite EX, uh, Hoop EX to search them out. It was it was super fun. Very very versatile deck. I actually really like that deck a lot. And then over here, we're getting some more, I guess, some old stuff, right? We got, you know, we got some Volcanions up here. I did play some Volcanion a couple times. Uh, Stellar Guidance, Drachi EX, Full Art. Uh, this, I mean, it's not in the best condition, but I did, I do remember playing this a couple of times. Yeah, that thing looks rough. But, uh, but yeah, most of these cards aren't, like, in the best condition. Uh, some of them, some of them are, but for the most part. Uh, Dark Rai EX, Turbo Dark and Expanded was super cool. Uh, I did play that a couple of times. You know, this Dark Rai EX, I... I think I purchased for like maybe 40 or 50 dollars and it's like it's up there and you know it's not the worst in condition it's a little bit played on the side but uh you know there's been some love there's been some love I will say that for toads you know how I mean, you know people groan over seismic toads but it is what it is shaman yx you can never play a deck without shaman yx back in the day this was like the best thing the best card in standard uh sadly he's banned now and expanded because of the printing of scoop up net but um you know Shaman X, you know, you did a lot of work, man. Uh, you helped us out. You helped us out a lot, and uh, I really appreciate Shaman X and everything that you did. Uh, Ho EX Rebirth. I picked these up for Dallas. Um, this is uh, probably my favorite deck that I've ever played at regionals. Uh, Reshiram, Zekrom, as well as the Ho Rebirths. Uh, these have actually gone up in price, which is kind of weird. It's just kind of insane. Uh, but yeah, you know, Ho was awesome. Uh, X Ball Mewtwo. I did pick up an X Ball Mewtwo because there, there was. A time where, you know, you splash this in your Zorak deck because uh, Buzzwell was actually kind of big and expanded, but, um... Uh, Keldeo EX, Landorus, Latios, uh, Latias EX, and Registeel. You know, all these full arts are awesome. Like, I actually like the old set EX full arts. They're one of my, like, favorite cards ever. And then now we get into the GX era. I got Glaceon GX is up here. Tapu Koko GX, Lucario's, Ho-Oh's. Uh, Tauros GX is, like... The suit, like the first like GX that was like super cool, right? It came out of Sun and Moon as well as Decidueye. This card was awesome, and you know, uh, I loved playing this a lot. Marsh out of GX, Dark Rise, Nine Tails. I remember like, Lost Thunder came out. Nine Tails was like a thirty dollar or forty dollar card. Now it's like it, it dropped off in the face of the earth. But this card was insane when it came out. Uh, the Sun and Moon Lost Thunder format was actually pretty sweet. And then more EX or I'm sorry, GX stuff. Get that thing mixed up all the time. You got Elusive Master, Greninja, uh, Naganadals, Guardi. Guardi GX was insane when it came out over in Burning Shadows. Uh, One Worlds, so, you know, that was an amazing card. Uh, you got some EV GXs, like, you know, Jolteon GX, Flareon GX. I played Jolteon GX in my regional deck because uh, I did not want to lose any Pyroar or Vileplume shenanigans. But, um, yeah, uh, when I needed the most, he was prized, so... Unfortunate, but it is what it is. 300 Zard, Trevin and Dustnor GXs. Uh, you know, my friend Justin won regionals with the Trevnors. Uh, yeah, and my friend Will got top eight with him. They had, unfortunately had to face each other in the top eight, but it is what it is. He was actually using my Trevnor, so. My spirit was in that top eight, right? Gegar Mimikyu, uh, this, this car has gotten up recently. That's just kind of insane, but it is what it is, man. And then over here, we got most of like the full art GXs, right? I got. Zorks, you know, back in the day I played a lot of Zork. Uh, Zork promos, Dark Ride GX, played with a couple of times. Tapu Lele, the best card in standard at the time when Gardens Rising came out. It was pretty insane. Uh, Naganetal GX, the, the Venom Shot ones. Rayquazas, I played Rayquaza a couple of times, which was pretty cool. Buzzwall, I played a lot of Buzzwall when um, the, you know, the triangle format with Malamar, Zork, and then. Buzzwell, I played this deck a lot. Buzzwell was super good back in the day. 
Decidueyes, I actually had like normal Decidueyes, but I actually upgraded to the full art Decidueyes. Decidueye was super fun. Uh, I think one of the like, when I first started, I actually made like a Seismitoad Decidueye kind of deck. Before like, you know, someone at a regional has actually played that deck. I theoried it and then I brought it to my like local local store and played in the deck and did pretty well. It was pretty good. Very inconsistent, but it was a pretty good deck. Uh, Lapras, I, I love Lapras. I love these full art Laprases. They look super good. Played Glycopod a couple of times. Uh, Lucario GX, I played. I, think, I don't know if I played actually played with this, but you know, I got Lucario GX. So Valley is disgusting. Eevee, dude, this Eevee looks actually like super weird. I don't know why they made this promo card, but you know, it looks pretty funny. Uh, uh, it is what it is. Uh, Tauros right over here. Mawile GX is, you know, God. If anyone's like play, ever played our standard right now, Mawile is a uh, Mawile is something. And this, I got Bulu's. Oh man, Bulu, that was a fun deck. Bulu, type of Bulu Vikavolt. I love that guy. I love that guy. It has a special place in my heart. I don't think I'll ever sell these, but uh, <laughs> it was fun top eating the cup with Bulu. Uh, Kelio GX's more Drampa GX. Drampa GX was insane when it came out. The Guardians Rising, uh, Drampa Garb, Espeon Garb as well. Um, Lichen Rocks, Full Art Lichen Rocks. Played with these guys a lot. I don't even think these are in like the best condition because I. Bridge my car. Oh yeah, you can see that. You can see like the nice shuffle crease right there. If it if it will focus, but probably not. But you know, Lycan Rock has had some love. We'll say that. More full art stuff. Blacephalon. I played a couple times. Uh, this card is really really good. As well as these Nine Tails. I love love Nine Tails. Once again, amazing card when it came out. Heatran GX, awesome. Uh, Turtonator GX back in the day. It's pretty good. Guardies, always, once again, Guardies. Guardies were super good. Uh, Ultra Necrozma. And I have Honchkrogs, but I don't think I've ever played with Honchkrogs before, but it's just there. Dedenes, I got some, I got five Dedenes, two from the Trainer Toolkit, as well as three of the Unbroken Bonds ones, and two Zero Aura. Oh man. My Pigram cards, they're still here. I will never get rid of them. I love them to death. Lugia GX Full Art, surprisingly, has gone up in price because everyone likes Lugia. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on the full art stuff. Now we get into the tag team stuff, right? So, tag teams were introduced in Sun and Moon Team Up. Uh, Alolan Raichu and Raichu. Chuchu GX has helped me a couple times. Uh, I got the right two, two Reshizards, full art, and the promo. Uh, I got the other Dark Ride GX, <laughs> right? The Zorak and Greninja with the Dark Pulse attack. Pretty, pretty sweet. And then over here, we got some more full art stuff. We got the Togepi, Igglybuff, and Cleffa from the Small and Bind Mighty Box. Uh, I actually picked these up recently, um, the Umbreon Darkrai and then the Espeon Deoxys promos. These actually look pretty sweet, um, I like those a lot. Obviously the ones I played were like the normal ones, like of this card at least. I got a Stained Glass, uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. I actually have more of these um, that I'm going to send a PSA that I'll show you in a sec. Uh, yeah, mostly all, this is all basically tag team stuff. Guardians, Full Art Guardians, uh, promo, Mewtwo's. I kind of wish that I got like the normal Mewtwo Full Art from the set, but... You know, this, this is cool. I, I like the art, but I'm not, like, I'm not too fan of playing promos, like, a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tina Chomp is pretty good. And uh, everyone's favorite, RCS Diago and Palkia. Everyone's favorite card that they just want banned in standard. Rush Roms. Oh, man, Rush Ram Zekrom. My favorite thing that I've ever played, once again. Uh, these will have a special place in my heart. I kind of want to want to get, like, a Rush Ram and Zekrom, like, PSA 10, you know, just, just for myself. And Pikaram, my favorite deck ever that I've played. I've played P so much Pikaram, gotten so much CP from Pikaram. So these will be there in, you know, in spirits. Full Arts, Bird Trios. And then we get into like the Hidden Fate stuff, like the Shiny Vault stuff. So I don't have that many Shiny Vault things. So this is just the stuff that I've just kept. You know, Cart like Cartana, Naganidal, Zerkatree, Articuno. Um, this one isn't the best in condition. I've always wanted to... I actually have another one that's kind of grade worthy that I might send in. But yeah, I got that. And then uh, we go into the hypers. Um, price of some of these hyper rares have gone up super significantly. I kind of wish that I went more ham on hyper rares. But uh, I'm actually not the biggest fan of hyper rares. Um, some of the hyper rares do look hot. Like these ones that I've collected look great, right? So the hyper leleys look pretty sweet. Uh, hyper zorox look hot. Um, the Hyper Denene, I just had one of these and I actually just don't want to keep, uh, don't want to part with it. I've played with this guy at, uh, many, many tournaments, so 
Uh, Hyper Reshiram and Zekrom looks pretty good. I actually don't know if this is actually in contention for Great Worthy. I did play this in a deck. Yeah, there's a little bit of a scratch there, but, um, you know, it is what it is. A little bit of lightning on the side, but I did play that in my deck. <laughs> uh, Hyper Low Puff, Hyper Guardi, uh, Gold Coco. I did play this in my Richmond deck, which was awesome. Uh, I liked showing off that. And Coco actually won me a couple of times. And then we get into the Sword and Shield era, the Vs. We got some Venusaurs, Inteleons, Ninetales, uh, Sheep, and other stuff. Uh, you know, Vs are just big EXs. Like, I actually don't know if most of these cards are good. Uh, obviously, Scorch is a deck. Galeon Slowbro is in a deck. Lapras is his own deck, but it's not really that great. Aegislash with that Sonic Edge is really actually pretty good right now. Uh, Togekisses, Eldegosses. I have a bunch of Eldegosses because this Eldegoss is really, really good in standard right now. Talonflame is a pretty sleeper card. Waylord, I think, is a sleeper card. Uh, this Ghost card's pretty bonkers, but you know, I got some that I that I want to keep like over time. Bolton is probably like one of the best V's in standard right now. I think. Uh, Coco's, Vika Volts, Surfetched, <laughs> in case. Um, Crammies, Crammies are pretty good too. And then we get into like more full art V stuff. Once again, I play with a lot of full art cards. I need to pick up some more full art V cards. Uh, Zacians, these aren't full art, but I got some Zacians. Boltons, I kind of want some of the shiny new ones that are coming out in uh, Shining Fates from that tin. Uh, Dragapult V was pretty good when it came out. Uh, Eternatus, um, these are promos. Uh, people don't actually like this art. I, I kind of like it. I kind of mess with it. Um, I do see why it's kind of ugly, but, uh, you know, I got the full arts from play with full art cards. Got some guard EVs from Champion's Path. Crobat Vs. Uh, if I were your people right now, I would pick up Crobats right now. I think they're, I, I think they're at the cheapest point ever. Uh, I think I got these for like maybe $14 each. But uh, make sure you have your Crobats, because Crobats like one of the best cards in standard, as well as the Den AGX, so... Pick up a Crobats now. Uh, probably wait for the Shiny Bees that's going to print out in um, Shining Fates as far as the tins are concerned. So, uh, yeah. I need to get two more of these for, for my playset. And then we have some Zacian V Full Arts right over here. Talonflame V Full Arts. Aegislash Full Arts. Alakazam Full Art looks pretty sweet. Uh, I got some Eternatus V Maxes. These are promos. Uh, Guardi V Maxes. Uh, Hyper Aegis Slash VMAX. Uh, I kind of like that, so I kind of wanted to just keep that one for myself. And then on this page, we got Senna Scorch VMAXs, Togekiss VMAXs. Uh, not that many VMAXs uh, that I've got, but I got some. You know, they'll you know print more like 5,000 5, HP Pokemon, so it's going to be the new meta. And there's just random Trevenant Breaks here, too. And then on this side, last page, we got some Shining cards. I got some... Um, Shining Lugias, sadly, there aren't in the best condition. Uh, these were played in a deck back in the day. This was uh, in the Shining Lugia Malamar deck. Shining Hoes, sadly, aren't. These aren't like at all in like the best condition. Otherwise, I would have put them in my PSA sleeve. But you know, I got some Shining cards, and the uh, Shining cards have gone up. So I probably might as well dump these potentially. But who knows? So the next thing we're going to take a look at is actually going to be. Uh, Super special binder now uh, with the recent spike, but uh, I actually collect full art supporters. Uh, I've been super keen on full art supporters because, you know, supporters are part of every single Pokemon deck, and I like to bling out most of my decks with full art supporters, full art trainers, and that sort of thing. So we're gonna be taking a look next at my full art supporter collection. So, you know, remember when, when you're thinking of Pokemon, usually people just collect the Pokemon, right? So I just collect the full art trainers because you know some of these have amazing artwork i love the trainer cards a lot and starting off we got bridgets i actually have more bridgets in my other binder i just couldn't fit like all these i just didn't want to like i found more full art cards in like a box and i just didn't want to like go through and organize everything again so we're just gonna take a look at um everything in this binder as of right now uh bridget was an amazing card back when the format was um uh, breakthrough or breakpoint onwards, I think. Um, I got your all your basics. You got to Wonder Tag, Tapu Lele, Wonder Tag for Bridget, and then get set up on turn one. And obviously now with the new supporter rule, you can't do that. But you know, Bridget was an awesome card back then. Uh, we got a bunch of Wicks. Yeah, uh, this card. <laughs> you know, this card that came out, and then I was just like, oh my god, it's like N. But you know, this card was bad, so. 
Uh, Wick never got to see the spotlight, but uh, I got a bunch of Wicks here. I got some TV reporters down here. And then play sets of copycats, Janines, and Lysias. Most of these trainer cards aren't great, but it's just the artwork that, you know, captivates me, essentially. You know, th this card's, like, really bad, but it's just, once again, spiked recently. It's kind of weird. Alright, we got the full play set of Hat Ladies. I, I, whatever you want to call them, uh, you know, Morgan, Dana, Evelyn, and Nita's. We got four Greens Explorations. This is one of one of the amazing cards that came out of Unbroken Bonds and uh, dominated standard format back in the day. Uh, Welders. Welders still really good right now. Uh, we got Mars, Full Art Mars, Full Art Lana's, uh, Full Art Diantha's, Kahili's are crazy. This card is so bad. It's, it literally says draw two and then flip a coin and then you get the Kahili back or something like that. No one played this crap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's just, you know, the artwork is just pretty, really, is pretty, pretty good. Pretty, really good? I can't talk today, but, you know. Roller Skater Girl um, and Mallow and Lana. Uh, this card is not good. This card was good. Mallow and Lana is really good right now. Um, the tag team supporters came out in Cosmic Eclipse. Just, you know, two trainers, you know, banded together, tag team together, and um, they provide an amazing effect if you pay the additional price. So uh, they, these tag team supporters have all been pretty, pretty solid. Acerolas, I got 12 Acerolas here. Uh, super good card when it came out back in Burning Shadows, you know, being able to pick up your Pokemon just as it is. And you get all the cards attached to it back to your hand. So it was better than AZ, granted that your Pokemon was damaged at the time. So, you know, in the Golisopod decks, you just pick, you know, smack for 120 with first impression, and then you Acerola back it up, and then you just go ahead and do it again, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Gardenia's, uh, I like Gardenia, that card art was pretty good, came out in Ultra Prism. Uh, Erica is my favorite gym leader. I love Erica. I kind of wish that I had picked up more Erica's, but um, I'm not happy with satisfied with my place. I'm um, hope like most of these cards in this binder are super near mint, so I think I need to pick up like the awesome condition ones. I kind of want to grade a couple of these, uh, send, send just PSA, and um, I have no idea when I'm gonna get those back, so I have to like go through this whole entire binder to try to search for like the awesome condition ones. This Skyla, this OG Skyla from the Black and White series, isn't is really really bad condition. I think you can see like the warping right over here, as well as uh, ooh that doesn't look good. Um, <laughs> I just picked up one because I needed an OG Skyla, and you know this was super cheap at the time, so it's there. All these Skylas from Breakpoint, um, I think most of them are in decent shape. And then over here, this is uh, yeah. I have 24 Olivia's. Um, I thought this card would have been good back in the day when it came out. Um, it came out in Burning Shadows, but then the full art was introduced in, uh, I think this is, yeah, this is Crimson Invasion. So I thought this card would, was gonna be good. Turns out it wasn't, but it was played in like the last format where it was, the last tournament where it was legal in. So I guess I can uh, breathe a sigh of relief there, maybe, but you know, this was a speculation. Uh, and also Olivia is one of my favorite characters from Sun and Moon, so. I have a ton of Olivia's. <laughs> uh, next page we have Junipers. Uh, I will only play Juniper in expanded tournaments. Not, not Sycamore, not Professor's Research, not whatever else gets printed uh, in the future. Only Professor Juniper. Um, most of these are in, these are all played, so not near mint. If I, had, if I could get like a near mint Juniper PSA 10, that would be sweet. We got eight Cynthia and, Kate, Cynthia and Caitlin's, as well as normal Cynthia's. I got seven of the ones from Ultra Prism, as well as three of the Hidden Fates Cynthia's. And then there's Sonia, just chilling there. But uh, yeah, no, the price of the full art cards over the years, like, re actually just recently, has just spiked beyond belief. It's just crazy, right? I even have more Mallows than this, I think, in like the other binder. I'm not, I don't really know, but I got a bunch of Mallows. Mallow was a, was a great card back in the day. I, I liked playing Mallow in my uh, Rayquaza deck. You got the Mallow for the cards you need. Shaman set up, get his stuff. Or in the Zorark decks, you play one Mallow, get your DC, whatever, Mallow it up, trade, get those cards. You know, it was a good card. Karina's, I played Karina's in the Buzzwool, like in the Expanded. Really, really cool. Uh, I got the Karina for Buzzwool plus Wide Lens. Uh, I got to Wide Lens a couple of uh, Zoruas back in the day. That was pretty sweet. Delinquent was a cool card, right? Uh, kind of toxic, but like, it was a cool card. This was a cool full art that they did in the XY Premium Collections. Uh, but then it got banned, so... You know, that's basically it. <laughs> got some irises here uh, from the black, from I think this is Plasma 
Blast? I don't know. One of the black and white sets, but uh, Iris is cool. Champion of black and white too, so. Uh, 10 Lusamines. There's two different arts of Lusamines. Uh, one from Crimson Invasion as well as the Nihiligo formed from Ultra Prism. Uh, super cool card. Uh, but it was pretty toxic when you got, were able to chain two Lusamines together for all your, you know, control supporters. So, uh, I understand why this card had to get banned. I think this card would have been... This card was printed after VS Secret rotated. So, uh, I think I rem I understand what they were trying to do. But it just had to have said, like, you can't chain Lusamine with Lusamine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shauna's, this came out in the XY Premium Collection set. Uh, Ladies, I actually like this artwork a lot. Uh, this is from Hidden Fates. Kind of want to pick up a couple more. Uh, Rosa is super expensive now. Uh, Rosa came out in Cosmic Eclipse, and this trainer is really, really good. Uh, being able to, f like, help the one prize or decks, right? You got to search for your Pokemon, your energy, and a trainer card, so Rosa is great. Uh, Jasmine, not so much, but, you know, it's a Johto gym leader, so I kind of like Jasmine. Uh, Bianca's, like, full art Bianca's have, are, you know, kind of hard to find, like, like, a super near mint condition. I actually think that these aren't, like, the best, but they're actually, you know, in pretty solid shape. Like, there's, there are, like, a couple of white spots here. But overall, it's a near-mint card. So it's kind of hard to find, like, these at, like, super near-mint, you know? So I don't think I'll unload these Biancas. I actually want to just keep these for safekeeping. Uh, I like these a lot. And then there's, like, you have the old PCLs and the new PCLs. These are, like, $50 or something like that right now. These just came out in Vivid Voltage. Um... Actually, I, 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 you know what? I can see it. I like, I kind of like this artwork more than the other one, but the old one has a that has like a special place in my heart. I like the po PCLs, the Pokemon Center ladies, uh, Winonas, and Missy's determinations, and then I got some Plumerias here, and then one Opal from Vivid Voltage, and over here we got Hex Maniacs, eight Hex Maniacs. Um, this is this was an um, insanely oppressive card back in the day. Uh, Lilies. I don't have any. I actually have I have one of the Ultra Prism ones, but it's not in the best condition. But that the Ultra Prism literally has gone up in price ridiculously. It's just actually insane. These jumped up a little bit, but not as much as the Ultra Prism one. We got twelve teammates here. Teammates is an amazing card and expanded. Uh, um, after your one of your Pokemon gets knocked out, you get to basically search for two cards. You know. Very specific, but very, very good. I like teammates a lot. This was just as more of a spec. Speculation by. We got 12 Karens. Uh, yeah, Karen is an awesome Elite Four member. So I like the artwork of this. Uh, we got Bias from Vivid Voltage. I got six of them. And six Minas from Lost Thunder as well. Uh, Misty's Favor. Hey, you know how much Misty's Favors are nowadays. It's kind of crazy. This card really wasn't played that well, but... Hey, it's got Misty on it, so uh, it is what it is. Uh, Zinnia, I remember Zinnia when like uh, Dragon Majesty came out. This was like the chase card as well as the gold Ultra Necrozma. This thing was like maybe $60 at release. And then I actually pulled one because Dragon Majesty is kind of hard to find. I pulled one in a three pin box and then I sold it immediately. And then, you know, it very depreciated in value. I think I picked this up for like maybe $7 or something. And now it jumped back up, which is kind of insane. Uh, Lily's Full Force Cosmic Eclipse card. It's got Lily on it, so, you know, people are gonna go crazy over it. I got 10 Nessas. Uh, Nessa's great. That's all I can say. Nessa's kind of Nessa's kind of cool. Uh, Marnie's, two Marnie's. I kind of wish I picked up two more, because, you know, Marnie's a great card in Standard right now, but this full art has jumped up in price recently. It's kind of just... kind of sad, honestly. I kind of wish I picked up two more, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh... Four, uh, five beauties, um, Getsus, Pokemaniac, and then four Colorus. Uh, Colorus is an amazing card and expanded. This is probably the, like one of the best draw supporters out there. You could potentially draw like 16 cards. It's insane. Uh, with a Skyfield in play, of course. But Colorus, amazing. I don't think I'll ever get rid of these. Uh, Oleanas, these came out in, I think, this is Rebel Clash. Uh, Coach Trainer was pretty good a little bit in the Guardian decks. And then the Aether Foundation employee, I don't even know what this card does, so. Uh, over here we got the premium collection N's. I got 12 of those. Um, yeah, N is an amazing card. I kind of wish that Pokemon would reprint this guy because like N basically defined modern Pokemon, right? You know, the dreaded N to one uh, as, as a comeback potential. You have reset stamp, but you know, stamp is a good card, but it's not the same, you know? Uh, four of the noble victories N's. I love these. I will never get rid of these. Um, 
Yeah, it just has, I always played with these ends as opposed to these. These are just collector's purposes, but I have these to play with uh, in all of my expanded tournaments. Um, you know, whenever they come up back again. Uh, four ends resolve. Uh, this came out in Cosmic Eclipse. Pretty, pretty cool card. I like it a lot. Uh, four judges. Everyone likes judge. I got uh, 11 Guzmas of the Burning Shadows variety, as well as four of the Hidden Fates. Uh, variety. I actually, I do like this artwork, but, you know, it's cool. I've played Guzma a couple times, like these Guzmas in a couple of my decks. Uh, four Guzma Hollas, another tag team supporter, which is insane. Uh, and then three Lysander. I know they are, I think they are reprinting this as a boss's orders. They're changing the Gust card as boss's orders. So I kind of wish they would just print Lysander uh, himself. But, you know, I understand what they're going with. Uh, and I kind of wish that maybe they could potentially, like, errata the card right to be like this is a boss's orders or something like that but uh, you know it, it will cause trouble for uh, most of the people so i do like this full art a lot this was one of my favorites and then on this side we got full art reds challenge once again this card jumped up in price recently um wasn't that big of a card back in the day when it came out but you know it is what it is it's got red it's iconic red and blue the chibi red and blues that you see over here this card jumped up as well i actually really like this art uh leon's just came out of Vivid Voltage, pretty sweet. Professor Elm's Lectures. I remember this card was very big when it came out Lost Thunder because Zork was able to just get, you know, all their basics down. Uh, you got your, you know, your Rock Ruffs, your Zoruas, and uh, your Vulpix because they played that in, as well in this deck. Professor Oak's setup, and then AZs. And then on this last page, we got some Steven Resolve, some Tate and Lizes, and some Volkner's. Volkner is a... Uh, card that will be near and dear to my heart. I uh, played Volkner so many times, I played Pikachu and Zekrom so many times that Volkner was in my deck and uh, he helped me search for Electro Powers to destroy my opponent's Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? So we'll get into the other binder. It's got some more full art cards, so just give me one sec. All right, so we have this binder right over here. It's got some more full art cards as well as some secret rare stuff. So any extra full art supporters from the other binder are probably gonna be in this one too. So, first page here, we got some Hollas from Guardians Rising. Uh, I thought this card would be sweet, but it's not. <laughs> we got some original Stevens. Uh, I actually really like this art a lot. Probably more than Steven. I think maybe Steven Resolve has a better art, but Steven is a cool, cool character, you know? Uh, we got some Team Rocket's Handiworks. A bunch of those, you know, flip your coins, mill your opponents. <laughs> uh, I've, got, I've lost to Team Rocket's Handiwork a couple times, which is kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Jesse James from Hidden Fates, very, very broken card. They actually just like printed this and then they banned it immediately because it's just too broken. Zerosic, some Archies. I played Archies at the North Carolina Regionals uh, a couple years ago and I got top, top 64 with it, which was pretty cool. Uh, my round one of that tournament, I literally prized both my Archies game two and I lost. So I got, was able to rally back and then finish in the top 64, which was pretty sweet. And then oh, the one of Maxis as well. Maxis got banned and expanded, which is kind of weird now because, you know, you can't play supporters on turn one. I uh, got a lot of Team Flare Grunts. This is from the XY Premium Collections box. Um, these look sweet. I don't think I've ever played um, Team Flare Grunt in a tournament before, but, you know, they're, they're there. Some Giovanni's Exiles from Hidden Fates. Uh, I got a lot of Team Skull Grunts. These uh, these uh, cards look pretty sweet, you know, with the, the gang signs and everything. <laughs> Ultra Recon Squad, bad card. Uh, Ingo and Ebbett, cool artwork, bad card. Uh, yeah, like most of these full art supporters were just not really played that well, but it's just the artwork, you know, that's just great. It's just super cool to collect, so. Uh, two Fabas, Apricorn Makers, Kabus. It, I, I'm sorry if my... My my camera here is kind of acting a little bit glitchy. It is just my phone that I've been using, but uh, later on I'll get an, I'll upgrade cameras. So just bear with me for for this. Um, I got some sycamores. You know, sycamore was this was a twenty five dollar card back when you know it was played, and now it's kind of worthless. But hey, you know, appreciate the sycamores. Um, Kakuis, eight Kakuis. Kakui was a pretty cool card. Draw two, and then your attacks do twenty more damage. Pretty, pretty sweet. Played this in a couple of decks, a couple of Zorark decks. Uh, some Crash Awakes, Brox Grits, both editions. This is from Team Up, this is from XY Evolutions. The Team Up one has spiked a lot recently, which is kind of insane, but um, 
You know, Brock's Red, I've played Brock's Red in a couple of tournaments before, and uh, I actually played one of these in Mega Gardevoir. Because, you know, you got to discard most of your cards, and then you just Brock's Red shuffle them all back, uh, use the Hoopa to get them all back, and then Dragonite, you know, you, you saw the loop. Pokemon Rangers, uh, I think Ranger will be a big card now, now that, like, uh, ADPs in the expanded format. Um, and some other stuff, you know, like uh, Toad sh shuts off the effects. So, uh, one of Ranger and at most expanded the decks, potentially. This is the super hot fire page. We got some Kiaways and some Blacksmith. Kiawe was super cool when it came out back in Burning Shadows. You know, Kiawe ho -Oh was insane. Uh, now, you can't really do that, but... You know, it's just there. Pokemon fan clubs, there's a Ultra Prism art that I don't have, but uh, these are from Flash Fires. Uh, Lima's Wally, rip my boy Wally, turn one Wally and Trev. I never really played Trev. I only played Trev at like one tournament, but you know, everyone liked their Wally. Uh, when you got the turn one Wally to evolve in your Trev, it was pretty nuts. Sophocles and Crimsley. Uh, Blaine's Last Stand, I actually like this art a lot. This is from Dragon's Majesty. Um, Koga's Traps. Koga's a cool gym leader. I like Koga. Uh, some Gladians. Gladian's a cool card. You got to look at your prize cards and then s shuffle the Gladion back in and then take the one that you searched out. Rose, Team Yelgrunt, Pierce, Fisherman. That kind of thing. And now we get into the gold cards. So I do play a lot of gold cards in my deck. Uh, I have eight Ultra Balls, eight Cherish Balls, eight DCs, four Electromagnetic Radar. Has a special place in my heart. Search out my Picaroms. Uh, if I have the f gold trainers required for my deck, then I'll usually play them, you know? I love playing out, playing out my decks. Four Mysterious Treasure. I actually got these from my friend, and uh, I, I knew that, you know, I would pay that much for them, but uh, I know Mysterious Treasure is a sweet card. <laughs> you can see the shuffle crease right there. So, I mean, collectors are there pretty cringing, but, you know, Mysterious Treasure got to search for a Psychic or Dragon type. Uh, this is a really good card. I think it's going to be an insane card down the line. Uh, some Poke Gears, Rare Candies, Field Blowers, Choice Bands, that sort of thing. Uh, Rescue Stretcher is an amazing card. Electro Power, oh my god, I've played Electro Power so many times. I'll never get rid of these. You need these for your Picarom decks. Just the extra 30 is just nuts that it adds 30 damage. It's just actually crazy. I think I actually won. I, I won a League Cup because I was able to play all four Electro Powers in one turn. And then I got to t uh, move my Raichu up, Tandem Shock for 280 to kill his um, Mewtwo and Mew GX for game, which was something I'll never forget. You know, it was insane. I had three Electro Powers in my hand, and I Cynthia for the fourth one, so that was pretty sweet. Four Switches, four po uh, Max Potions, four hus uh, three Hustle Bat uh, uh, Adventure Bag. Uh, I got some Pokemon Communications, some other miscellaneous things, Ordinary Rods, uh, Counter Catcher, Metal Goggles. This is a good card in standard right now. Uh, I have two great catchers. I don't know why they're in two different spots. I'll fix that later. That kind of triggered me now that I'm just looking at it. Reset stamp. Amazing. E-hammers. U-turn board. Escape rope is getting a reprint, which is pretty sweet. Um, and VS Seekers. Big ones. Never get rid of these. VS Seeker will always be good until you do anything with it. I highly doubt it. Trainer's Mills. I've played with a lot. Super, super good card. Energy switch for my Picaron decks. I need to pick up some more of these... Metal Saucers, these are really, really good. Uh, you got some awesome metal Pokemon like Zacian, which is actually just insane. Um, and some other cards, so. Tag Switch, uh, Cape of Toughness, that sort of thing. I got a couple of stadiums here. I got one Brooklet Hill and then two Power Plants. And then these are the only energies that I own. Uh, as far as like basic energy secret rares. Uh, I think, I think these will hold their value over time, so I wouldn't be a pr uh, opposed to picking up Secret Rare Energies. I think these energies look really, really good. And, you know, Fairy Energies, hey, right now in Sword and Shield, once again, they stop printing Fairy Pokemon, so... Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Uh, got some special energies here, Weakness Guards, one triple, Recycles, and some Unit Energies. And then we get to some pre-release promos that I've that I have left over. Um, Tapu Fini was really really good when it came out. Uh, it was the Blown Killer, the Blacephalon Killer. Zapdos I played in my Zapdos decks. This Lugia I opened up on stream. I kind of wanted to grade this, but it has like a small bend here. Uh, Fion is good and standard right now. Um, I actually don't think many decks play these, but Fion was a great card when it came out. Giratina Lost Thunder. 
with the Shadow Impact attack and the Distortion Door ability was really, really good when it came out. Uh, Entei's. I just have these Entei's because I like Entei. Um, it has a rally back attack, so it's a good counter energy attacker in Expanded, so wouldn't be surprised to see some Entei's running around. Uh, Fireworks Bomb, Blacephalon was amazing when it came out. I don't think many decks still play this uh, back in, uh, right now, so it's just there. Got some Shiny Vault cards, some Orangru, uh, Sudowoodo with that Roadblock ability. Uh, always play your Sudowoodo in Expanded. Some Buzzwolves with that Sledgehammer attack was really, really good when um, Forbidden Light came out, the Buzzwoll decks. This card was just super insane. I have a Gym Badge Erica because Erica is my favorite Gym Leader. I don't think this is in the best condition. Otherwise, I would like, I would send this out to get graded. Yeah, it's got some white spots on like the corners. I don't know. I think I might just still send it out just regardless, just to have like a PSA Erica in my collection. Uh, this Lily card is actually a Lily from the box promo with the box set. Uh, I actually just my friend just gave me this because I actually have the box upstairs. Um, he just gave me this Lily card, and I was like, oh my god, this art is pretty cute. So you know, hey. This card, I think, recently shot up a little bit, so I think I kind of want to send this out to get graded, honestly. It's not that bad of a condition, uh, if the camera would focus. Um, the Japanese cards are notorious for having, like, super, super very nice cardboard. Um, just the production on Japanese cards are just so much better than uh, USA cards, so... I think this might get a decent grade, maybe a 9. But we'll see. And then over here we have Jirachis, a lot of Jirachis. Uh, one of these is a stat, this one's a staff promo Jirachi, but uh, pre-release promo Jirachis, I mostly play with these. These are from the um, League decks. You can get these, um, not not that good of a card anymore since Escape Board rotated out, but um, you know, it is what it is. Jirachi was amazing when Team Up came out, so. I have more Bridget's, more Bridget Full Arts, more Steven Resolve Full Arts here. Uh, these are all Prism cards. Um, I think the most that I've played with as far as prisms is going to have to be the Tabu Coco Prism Star here. Super amazing with that Dance of the Ancients ability, accelerating two energies in play from your discard. Tabu Coco, amazing card. Simply insane. Uh, Ditto Prism was also a good one. Probably the second best. Um, actually, maybe Dancy was probably... I played. I think I played Dancy more than I played Ditto. But um, hey, you know, both of these cards were amazing when they came out. And then over here we have the Prism Star Stadiums. Uh, once again, Thunder Mountain right over here in my Pikaram deck. Amazing. And over here we have the Ultra Prism Lily. Uh, yeah, this card is super expensive now, which is just insane, right? Uh, this is sadly moderately played, I think. But um, yeah, this card is super desired for right now. Uh, some more Karinas, Lucia's. I uh, so got some blues here. Blue is another card that went up in price, even though this card is absolutely unplayable. Nobody played this card in standard, but you know, it's got blue on it, so it's iconic, right? Um, and I got some more, you know, Malo, Lana, Iris for Professor Oak's setup, as well as the Professor M's lectures, and some more Skyloops as well. So that's my full art collection. Uh, I know full arts, once again, have been increasing over time, so maybe I kind of want to send some to get graded, as well as. Maybe offload some of them. I think now is probably the time to cash out a full art cards. All right, the next part of my collection is gonna be the PSA slabs right over here. Um, these are the slabs that I've decided to keep. Uh, you all have seen my PSA return videos. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching those. Um, these are the PSA slabs that I have kept. I, uh, I have made a, another PSA order through Lodkin's Collectibles. I It's a bunch of like, I think I sent 42 cards over to them. Uh, so I have no idea when I'm going to get those back. So these are the slabs that I've kept. Uh, first off, we have the Raikou from Viv Voltage. I have a little sleeve over it because I just want to preserve it as much as possible as far as like the condition of the overall slab. But yeah, uh, if you have these amazing rares, I would probably invest in these because I actually think that these will, you know, it'll appreciate in value over time. So I have been doing my best to try to pick up as many amazing rares as possible. Uh, I do love Raikou. I think Raikou is probably one of my favorite legendaries. Um, I think I prefer Entei a little bit more than Raikou, but hey, maybe there might be a Suicune Amazing Rare or Entei Amazing Rare or something like that. That would be kind of sweet. So yeah, Raikou PSA 10. I have one of those. Uh, this is the Lugia Staff promo from Vivid Voltage. Uh, once again, 
Lugia is an iconic legendary. Uh, I like Lugia a lot, and I do think this will hold as well over time. I did have a Charizard. Uh, I recently sold those because it was a PSA 9. Uh, I just didn't really want that one because I compared it over with the team up. This like the price of the team up one, and um, I just went let, let go of it. It was more of like a like a quick flip. I have two of the Rayquaza GXs right over here. The, these are from the Hidden Fates Premium Collection. Uh, I think Rayquaza is, once again, an iconic legendary. Shiny Rayquaza is always going to be desirable. If you have these, I would probably pick these up. Uh, if you have some like really good condition ones, probably grade them as well. I think these will be a good hold over time. So I have two of these. I have a third one that you saw in my binder. Uh, Sally wasn't uh, in great worthy condition, but I had these in my binder for like a year, so I sent them in and got, got gem and tens of those. And then the last two slabs I have are going to be the Champion's Path uh, slabs right over here. I have the Rainbow Charizard VMAX, the first card I ever graded. Um, it'll be a special place in my collection, and I'm just going to hold this over time. So, PSA 10, Gem Mint, Champion's Path. I have some more of these that I'll show in a sec that I'm going to send off, but yeah. This is pretty special, and then this is the shiny V that I thought was going to be a 9 because of the bumps on the back, but, you know, PSA was just like, alright, you know what, it looks good. So, hey, you know, PSA 10 Gem Mint Zard. Uh, I do have some more of these, once again, I'll show in a sec, but, yeah, uh, I do think these will hold over time. So if you have, if you are looking for Charizards, pick these Charizards up. The next thing we're going to be looking at is going to be this little box right over here filled with uh, some sealed cards as well as my next PSA order. So let me go ahead and open this up and then just take out everything really carefully. So I have a bunch of sealed cards right over here and then my next PSA batch that I will kind of want to send off and mail off as well as like some sealed pack stuff. Put that right over there and this hole will not come out of the box. It is like a perfect fit, so. Oh, there you go. So yeah. First off, we're gonna, let's go over the sealed cards right over here. We have two of the Hydreigon thank you promos. So as of right now, uh, you know, Pokemon sent this out to local game stores being like super thank you for, you know, Continuing to sell our product, uh, you know, it really sucks that we can't have like in-person uh, pre-release events So they just sent this as like a super thank you for it, which is kind of cool. I really like that. That how Pokemon did that And then all of these are sealed Charizards from the Champions Path Elite Trainer box uh, I bought a lot of these uh, A majority of the cards that I sent over in my next PSA order are these Charizard cards um, These are the ones that sadly are not in the best condition uh, on the backings. They got some excessive whitening and so on and so forth, but hey, you know, it's it's the gamble, right? You have to buy these in lots. And I have 16 at PSA, at Ludkins right now, ready to be sent off the PSA. I have 16 of those, 16 slabs will be coming back, but these are just the sealed ones that I just can't grade. So I don't know if I should be grading the packs of these or just keeping these sealed and just you know, keeping these over time. Um, once again, Charizard's always going to be a card that's going to be uh, super desirable for a lot of people. So this has got some awesome artwork, so definitely I would pick up sealed Charizard promos at a decent price if uh, you are willing and if you are able to. And then we have my next PSA batch order. I do have a special delivery Pikachu that I got from the Pokemon Center. You know, these were selling at like 80 90 bucks and then now they recently spiked to 300 plus so that's kind of insane um i know my pikachu was in the box package ship kind of miss uh miss they mistreated it when they sent it in packaging when i got my my order so a couple of white spots in the bottom when i like looked at the card so i didn't open it um i think i might just send this pack to be graded i know you can do that um so yeah this will just be here chilling and then i have a shining ho -Oh. Still sealed. Not in the best condition, obviously. You can see the whitening on the back right over here, but it's a sealed shining card, so keep it. Keep it sealed. And then let's go over my next PSA order after I get, like... I, I should probably just send these off now, because I, I know for a fact that you know, PSA has been uh, 
super backed up recently. So <clears throat> first thing we're gonna look at are the Entei Watsi movie promos. <clears throat> I, once again, I love Entei a lot. Uh, I think these were in kind of good condition. I know, don't think these are gonna be Gem Min 10 worthy, but I love Entei and I kind of want to just send these out and get graded. I really like the old, um, the old foiling on these reverse hollows too, like the cosmic hollow right over here, if you can see that. Look, that, yeah, those look super, super cool. I really like this card a lot. Uh, next thing we got are some amazing rares. So we have three Jirachis. Very, I think out of the amazing rares, this is the most played in standard right now. Um, super, super good ability with that Dreamy Revelation ability. Um, these are in really, really good condition, so I kind of want to send uh, off these the PSA, hopefully they come back as 10s. Uh, I have one currently at the Ludkins site, um, about to be sh shipped off with my PSA order, but now I have three more. So, once again, pick up these amazing rares if you if you are able to. Uh, and then I have the next batch I have, I have the Celebi and then two more Raikus. You saw the PSA 10 Raikou that I had just recently, I got some more. And then I have a Rayquaza, two Rayquazas. I actually had a PSA 10 a Rayquaza from Vivid Voltage I actually just sold, so I can fuel up more purchases of these and then grade those as well. So I got two Rayquazas. These look pretty, pretty good. Um, I think one of them might be a nine potentially, but I don't know. But we'll never know until I grade it. So good condition, gotta send these off. Next are some Hidden Fates cards. Uh, I just have a Decidueye GX right over here that I pulled on stream. So if you want to check out my streams, link, in the, link will be in the description below. Uh, Decidueye isn't as big as far as Hidden Fates Shinies go, but, um, you know, I would grade all Hidden Fates Shinies regardless. Uh, I got some Articuno, Articuno action as well as Bennett GX. And then, oh, here's my request. I actually put it in here instead. Yeah, this one isn't going to be that great because there's some like weird pattern or something down here uh that might take away from like the grading points but you know might as well just grade Rayquaza just because right me too gx from this is the shining legend secret rare the test to me too uh just gonna send in just because me too is cool so people have a desirable for desire for me too so uh, super, super cool card. I liked, I opened a decent amount of Shining Legends when they came out. Kind of wish I had more of those Shining cards, but it is what it is. I have three of the Stained Glass Bird Trios. These are what you get from the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box. Uh, if you have these and they're in good condition, I would recommend grading these. I think the birds are super iconic and as far as Pokemon is concerned. So if I were you and you have these cards, get them graded. Uh, Mega Pidgeot, I just have... Pidgeots uh, from Evolutions, because why not? Pidgeot's cool. I like Pidgeot. Might as well grade it. Um, this is a Charizard GX from the Tin Promo, Hidden Fates Tins. I actually bought this on TCG Player, and this was a picture listing. So when I saw the back, I was like, wow, this is actually really, really immaculate. So I got it. It got sent to me really, really nicely. And you know what? People will buy Charizards. Once again, I had a Hidden Fates normal art Charizard, and I sold that off, and you know, made a decent amount. This is only like a, probably like a $10 card. And I actually think that, you know, with this release of the new tins, uh, it's actually gonna be harder for this one to be a 10 because the tins that you got now with the restock, it's cardboard that's holding this. So it's gonna damage the card really, really badly. So if you have this and it's in great condition, send this off to get graded. And then next part is gonna be, uh, <laughs> so these are the, Illustration Grand Prix Charizards, the Japanese uh, Illustration Grand Prix Charizards. I have 10 of these. Um, I just got them on Facebook. Because people like, once again, people like Charizards. Um, and you know, I don't expect these to get 10s. Uh, maybe one, I actually think. I actually explored these, but hey, you know what? People still love Charizard. So I'm gonna get these mass graded. Um, and I actually do have a Japanese shiny, shiny Charizard V. That's going to be coming up soon uh, in the mail. So I'm going to be sending off these two shiny Charizard Vs from Champion's Path. These look really, really good. Once again, hopefully they come back as 10s. Um, I am looking forward. Um, I am in the works of trying to find some more of these, as well as maybe like one uh, Rainbow Rare Pikachu that I can get graded. So yeah, two shiny Charizard Vs from Champion's Path, as well as the Hyper VMAX. I don't think this one will be a 10. There's a little, there's a, the smallest 
white spot on this corner, but might as well send it in regardless. So yeah, that's my PSA order and uh, let's go ahead and get into some sealed product. So as far as sealed product is concerned, most of my sealed products are actually going to be upstairs because it's very, very heavy and I don't want to lug those down. So I brought a couple of seal some sealed stuff today. So the first thing that we're going to look at is going to be this. This is the Champion's Path Marnie box uh, that came out really, really recently. I have two of these sealed. Uh, this is probably like, you know, with every special set, you'll have a premium collection. So this is the one for Champion's Path. So I have two of these still sealed. Probably will never open them, but, you know, I've opened countless uh, a number of those. So that's, that's probably the only two I'm going to keep sealed, so... Next thing that we can have here is gonna be my Darkness Blaze booster box. Um, I kinda wanna pick up one more of these just to have in my collection and hopefully I can find like maybe like some sword and shield so I can have a sword and shield like full set of booster boxes cause I wanna do that. Uh, I kinda wanna take and put some more resources into investing in like booster boxes like these and just more sealed products as a whole. So I have one of these uh, booster boxes of Darkness of Blaze, and I kind of want to get another one, as well as some of the other um, Sword and Shield sets. I kind of want to do pick up like Sun and Moon stuff too, but um, Sun and Moon booster boxes have unfortunately spiked. And remember, a skill product always goes up over time, so kind of wish that I kept most of the boxes I had. Uh, I've only won like maybe three or four booster boxes in my life so i kind of wish that i had those but i sold them at the time because i needed the money uh but who knows you know this is that's what investing is so i need to get some more booster boxes i do have uh two vivid voltage booster boxes um i actually have a case of vivid voltage pre-release kits i have two two full cases of pre-release kits so that has the pre-release kit case as well as the booster box from vivid voltage so i have so i have two cases of those stuff so this isn't the booster box. This is the only booster box I have. I have two other ones. Uh, next thing is gonna be Elite Trainer boxes. So the first one's gonna be, the more recent one's gonna be the Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer box. Uh, once again, Elite Trainer boxes are super hot, super hot item in the Pokemon trading card game. Um, if you have, if you wanna get started on a sealed collection, think about collecting either booster boxes or Elite Trainer boxes. So I have one here, but I have two more upstairs. So I have three Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer boxes in total. Uh, I think I might maybe open one of these for like a video or something like in the future, but uh, not sure yet. Uh, or I just probably just keep this sealed, honestly. So yeah, I have one of uh, three of uh, Vivid Voltage Early Trainer boxes, and then I have four of these, four Champions Path Late Trainer boxes right over here. Uh, there's, there's just one here, but I have three more upstairs. Uh, I do want to get a Hidden Fates one. I had a Hidden Fates Late Trainer box. Um, I did see on eBay that they spiked. I actually put my only Elite Trainer box on eBay at the time, which was like in October, uh, on an auction, and it did sell for 300. So that was sick. And then at that time, I was like, oh man, there is gonna be a Hidden Face reprint, right? So I was hopefully gonna get some at like MSRP, but uh, Hidden Face Elite Trainer boxes are now about 100-ish. So I might just pick up one at that price at that point. So no, no luck trying to find one at Target for my seal collection, but uh, yeah. Uh, Champion's Path. I have four of these. Uh, it's got Charizard on it, so it's gonna be a hot item, I think, over time. But we'll see. And as far as, like, other Hidden Fates products go, I actually have, uh, the Hidden Fates Rayquaza Premium Collection. I have one of those still sealed. Well, you know, it has the Rayquaza statue, as well as some other stuff. I have three of the Zorak boxes from Hidden Fates. Um, the Great Ball Collections, and then one Metagross sealed. One Metagross uh, Ultra Ball collection still sealed. So I have more sealed product. It's just upstairs. And I it's too heavy, so I don't want to bring those down. So yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, that's my Pokemon collection as of right now, as of 20, uh, January 20th, 2021. And, um, you know, it was awesome to uh, go through all those Pokemon cards that I have, you know, been playing in tournaments and everything like that. So it was super fun to explore and share with all of you. And uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you coming in, tuning in, watching me. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button for some more Pokemon videos. And I hope you all stay safe in the middle of this pandemic. And as always, you have a good one. You take care and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much.